Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Beyonce said once she was on the set doing her thing, three days had gone by, she forgot she didn't eat. Because she was engaged. i never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50, and 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? Sleep, he said, sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. He said, I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. That's the number two thing, you gotta catch that one. To be able to, listen to me, at any moment, some of you, you can make sacrifices when Monday Night Football is not on. You can make a sacrifice, but when the game come on, for some reason, you just attach to it. For some of you, when your favorite show come on, you, you, can be, you can make sacrifices on Sunday when ain't nothing going on. But when your favorite show comes on Monday, bam, some of you, you focus into the phone ring, and then you like, I gotta answer it. If I don't answer the phone, I'm gonna die. I'm saying to you today that there are some of you, if you give up your cell phone, you would be successful. But your cell phone is more important to you than your success. I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna hurt somebody. I'm going to hurt somebody. Some of you need to give up your cell phone because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the cell. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. You're not tired, Eric. Your brain is telling you some dumb stuff. If you were tired, you wouldn't have been able to walk for an hour. Okay, so let's do this. Just run for two minutes. to help somebody right now go to a whole other level the bible says the, the reason why you go back to sleep is because you've always gone back to sleep it's like a default you you go back to sleep because you always, all you gotta do is stop going to sleep and then you're gonna stop going to sleep all you gotta do is stop fussing and cussing and you're gonna stop fussing and cussing all you gotta do is stop spending all the money you got and start saving it Listen to me, I became number one in the world. I became a millionaire not because I made more money. I became a millionaire because they told me millionaires only live off of 30% of their income. I want to make it plain for you. I became a millionaire because I did what millionaires did. I stopped living off 100%. Rich people don't work, they think. Poor people work. Poor people go, Clock in, I make this much an hour. Rich people go, I put them to work, and I make this much an hour. See, what happens is you're working for you and your family, one. They got 40 of you working at one time. So they're giving you 20%, and then they're keeping the 80% off of 15,000 people. That's enough to have $22 million. So what you have to decide is, are you going to keep being... The 99% or are you ready to be a part of the 1%? Because it doesn't make a difference where you come from high school dropout. It doesn't make a difference.